Hello everyone! Your games, Ramos' tears and information considering Messi's future. New release, new emotions. Subscribe if you are not yet with us. Like and write in the comments below your predictions for today's England vs Scotland match. Let's see if we have top predictors here. Alright, now let's get started. Chelsea offered Inter to include the money option plus Marcus Alonso in the Ashraf Hakimi deal. Negotiations are ongoing. PSG is still in the race. Kuman wants to see Alejandro Grimaldo in Barcelona. Benfica is ready to sell the people of the Catalans for 20 million euros. Juventus wants to sign Mitchell Becker as a replacement for Alexandro. Juventus is in talks with Sassolo on Locatelli. So far, the Turin club hasn't sent an official offer. Barcelona wants to replace Clement Langlais with Emeric Laporte. But first, the club is struggling to find a buyer for the French centre-back. Real Madrid believes that Alaba will replace Ramos with dignity. The club is also satisfied with the performances of Nacho and Nader Militao. Jesus Vallejo will return to Real Madrid. Barcelona held the first negotiations with representatives of Alex Mariba for a new contract. The talks were held in a positive manner. Real Madrid thinks that Varane wants to leave. PSG and Man United are interested in him. Dybala will renew his contract with Juventus. Allegri considers the Argentine a key player in the attacking line. Leicester will sign Austrian league top forward Patson Daka. Salzburg accepted the transfer offer. Belgium hasn't had such challenges for a long time. We turned the game upside down through experience, Roberto Martinez said. Real Madrid offers Roma to swap Leonardo Spinatola for Borja Mayoral. Maguire will be involved tomorrow. The decision we have got to make is whether he is ready to start. Guard Southgate set. The national team of Denmark gained 43 shots in opponent's net in two games but scored only once. France, Portugal and Belgium are further along than us. But anything can happen in football. Mancini set. Yusuf Poulsen scored against Belgium 99 seconds after the starting whistle. Only Dmitry Kirichenko scored quicker at Euro. It took him 65 seconds. Juventus needs Fiorentina best scorer Dusan Vlahovic. Jesus, Icardi, Belotti and Milik are also on the list. Ukraine broke a losing streak of six matches at Euros, defeating North Macedonia. UEFA has asked players to stop removing sponsors' bottles at Euro 2020 press conferences. The national team of Slovakia has two positive tests for coronavirus. Denis Vavro became infected, as well as a member of the team's coaching staff. Milan signed Fikayo Tomori from Chelsea on a permanent deal. The transfer is estimated at 28 million euros. Ashley Young left Inter and returned back to Villa Park a decade after leaving the Lions for Manchester United. Atletico will demand £43 million for Kieran Trippier. Man United is also interested in Max Ahrens. The English Football League may offer a new anti-racist gesture instead of kneeling. Messi is the best in the world, and it is not to demerit Ronaldo. He is a kid from the street, from the neighborhood, one of those who was playing with you and mocking you on the field, said Vicente Del Bosque sincerely. Gattuso left Fiorentina. He led the team less than a month ago. Gennaro had disagreements with the transfer management. Tottenham is closing in on Gennaro Gattuso's appointment. No agreements was reached with Fonseca. Gattuso has agreed with Tottenham a contract until 2023, a salary of 2.5 million euros per year. Arsenal offered 15 million euros for Albert Zambi Lakonga. Anderlecht is demanding 20 million euros for the midfielder. Former Tottenham defender Daniel Rose has moved to Watford. PSG doesn't want to offer more than 60 million euros for Ashraf Hakimi. Inter demands 75 million. Milan is close to extending Brahim Diaz's loan with a 20 million euros buyback option from Real Madrid. Thierry Mobley has 13 points in his last 11 games for the Italian national team in which he started, 8 goals and 5 assists. Italy will struggle to go the distance in Euro 2020. They lack intensity, power and pace. Patrick Veira said. Yesterday, a number of matches took place at Euro and Copa America. All the results are in front of you. Now, it's time for us to dive into the main news of the release. 
Yesterday, we were watching Euro 2020 once again. In the first match of the day, Ukraine beat North Macedonia thanks to goals from Yarmolenko and Yarmchuk, 2-1. After the tie, Andrei Yarmolenko entertained everyone. He did not support the actions of Ronaldo, Locatelli and Pogba, who removed the bottles of Coca-Cola and Heineken during the press conference. Can I do something? I've seen Ronaldo putting away Coca-Cola bottles. I'll put Coca-Cola, I'll put Heineken right here. Contact me, Yarmolenko said at a press conference. The Danes almost created a sensational result but still lost to Belgium. De Bruyne saved the day as he had a goal plus a pass. Let's highlight the heartwarming action in the 10th minute in honor of Christian Eriksen, when the match was stopped and everyone applauded for the midfielder of Denmark. It was very touching to see. In the final fixture of the day, the Netherlands defeated Austria with 2-0. Depay converted a penalty and the second one was delivered by Denzel Dumfries. Today we have three battles to observe. Sweden vs Slovakia, Croatia vs Czech Republic and England vs Scotland. Inter and Denmark midfielder Christian Eriksen is implanted with a cardioverter defibrillator. The doctor of the Denmark team, Morten Boysen, said that this procedure is necessary after the player lost consciousness during the match against Finland at Euro 2020. He survived cardiac arrest. The footballer himself has already agreed to the operation after the recommendations of the international specialists and the ones from Denmark. He will receive an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, a small electronic device, a type of pacemaker, which can prevent fatal cardiac arrest by discharging a jolt to restore a regular heart rhythm. Gianluigi Buffon will continue his career at Parma. The club announced the transfer of the 43-year-old goalkeeper with a video, in which he digs for a chest with a Superman suit and a Parma uniform on the pitch. The video is accompanied by the hashtag SupermanReturns. Buffon began his professional career with Parma, where he made his Serie A debut in 1995 at the age of 17. Gigi signed a two-year contract. Yesterday, the farewell ceremony of Real Madrid with Sergio Ramos took place. There was everything. Photos with cups, photos of Ramos with Paris and, of course, lots of tears. But the main thing is the words of the Blanco's ex-captain. We quote. I would like to clarify that I never wanted to leave Real Madrid. I always wanted to continue here. In the last months, the club made me an offer of one year with a drop in salary. I wanted a two-year contract for myself and my family. And then I was informed that there was no offer and the time was up. I already wanted to accept the offer, I thought it was still valid, but they told me that it was too late. We have always had a great relationship with President Florentina Perez, like a father and a son, but all families have their ups and downs. I'll have positive memories of 16 years spent here, Ramos said. And now, about the future of Sergio Ramos. It is known for sure that the Spaniard will not return to Sevilla. The centre-back wants to receive 12 million euros a year and Sevilla will not be able to pay that much of a salary. Regarding Barcelona, Ramos replied simply, it is impossible. The options remain with Man City, Manchester United and PSG. According to the Manchester Evening News, Man City has yet to deliver an offer to Ramos. Manchester United also did not enter the fight to sign him, says Fabrizio Romano. Ramos wants to join PSG, says us. The club has a lot of Spanish-speaking footballers. The players' representatives have already contacted the Parisian club. Just imagine if Ramos reunites with Cristiano Ronaldo at PSG. That will be a shocker. New details of Memphis Depay's contract with Barcelona have become known. The striker will sign a two-year contract, Fernando Polo reports. Why is that? The matter is that Memphis moves to Barca mostly because of Koeman. If Ronald is to be sacked in the new season, Depay's position in the team will not be so strong. However, Barca's management gives Memphis the right to renew the contract after two years if he wants to. The Dutchman's transfer is expected to be announced before the end of this week. A strong proof has appeared which screams of Messi's staying in Barcelona. According to Alex Pintanel, Barcelona is actively selling a new home kit with Messi's name. Of course, this is the best-selling item. It turns out that the leadership of Barcelona is fully confident that the negotiations with Lionel will end with a positive note. Otherwise, Messi's jerseys weren't on sale, don't you think so? Friends, watch the new video on Inside Football for the real reasons why Cristiano Ronaldo hates Coca-Cola. It was Football News.
Have a nice one and see you in a bit.